Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so how you doing here? Where's the controller overlay? Oh, I need a controller overlay too. If you could get one on on Bacchus mod, it's gonna be easier. Because I cannot tell you what wrong inputs you're doing. I mean, I could just by looking at your car, but uh, I'm gonna miss some, right? So far, so good. Oh, that was clock right here. He's clocking. Look at that. This is what. Oh, this one. <laughs> Dude, it's in the middle of the fucking screen. I didn't see it. Dude, that's what I like to see. Look at that beautiful. Let's see how precise you are with them, though. Okay, you started the clock from the upper input, which makes you go right a bit. Did you see that? Your nose just turned a bit to the right. But now it's going to cancel itself. Okay, you're clean, dude. So you started it from top, your clock, but you did double clocks. And, and every time you went up, uh, you know, every, every, every two times you went up, the revolution was neutral. So that was a double clock. That was nice. This is what I want people to do. This is exactly what I want people to do. Like when you go straight, just double clock it and, and you manage your boost, right? Let's see your boost while you're doing the clocks. Perfect. Look at this. Just look at the dissociation between the, 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 like the clean ass clock and the tapping the boost. This is really good. I love to see that. This is really good. If there's already an independence with the boost, it's a really good thing. Okay, um, up. You're going too fast here. You're going a bit too fast. Yeah, you're going too fast. Let's see it again. Y y this is too fast. From the get-go, you're already too fast here. Because you're going to go down, you're going to get some speed, right? And to counter that speed, because you're going forward, you want to put your nose b to the, towards the screen, right? And that's not necessarily easy to do because you're not used to, you know, Oh, the nose is towards me. <gasps> oh, lame. Twitch is allowing multi-streams read rules instead of believing randoms from the internet. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chill, dude. Okay. So, yeah, you're going too fast here. And you're still tapping the boost, but you're going forward and you're going downwards because of gravity. So you're not fighting any speed here, right? You're not fighting any speed. And now you're boosting, full boost, but you're going forward. That was good. You, you tried to save it, but you couldn't because you were going too fast. Okay, let's see how you go here. This is too fast also. Okay, you made the wrong input here. What happened? Okay, so you're going down right. That's where you're going left. Okay. This is a this is the beginning of a half reverse clock. You're going down right, so your nose is pointing left, right? Now you go up in order to get your nose to go to the right. What you should do is go up, left, down. Right? That would make you switch to the right very fast. You almost did it, but you're going too fast. This is why you're fucking up, because you're going too fast. So when you go like slowly, you're clean, but when you get too fast, you panic a bit. Yeah, did you see? Did you see what you did? Let's see. Let's look at it again. And there's another thing here. I think you made an input when the revolution is. See, you made you made an input here. Look at your car and look at the input. You made an input here instead of making it when the revolution is neutral. So here you're supposed to go left with that input. And you're lucky. Because you... Okay, you're lucky. So here... Now you're going down left. You're going down right. Just a little bit, right? But that's enough to go to the left. And here, what you should have done, right here, you should have stopped boosting. You should have gone up, left, down... And boosted when the nose was towards you, and maybe made a few clocks just to lose speed. Then calm down, get your car vertical. You could have saved that. Okay, that you could have saved. 
even though you might have taken speech from the gravity, you maybe you could have uh, stopped it. This is why doing the exercises is, is important, uh, because when you do them robotically, if you do the exercise a lot, when you when that would have happened, when you would have uh, made or have a reverse clock towards the right, because it would have been in your muscle memory, hopefully. Okay, we're going a bit slower here. That's good. Up. You should go down. Okay. I would have done that the revolution before. But that's fine. I would have gone down here. Right? Instead of here. But that's fine. Up. Down. Down again. Do down again. Okay. Again, that was a bit too... You should have gone down here. Now. Like before. The revolution before, right? You're trying to anticipate the next... You should go down here, right, before. But that's fine. It's okay. You, you managed it. Oh, what the fuck was that input? Up. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Why are you doing that? Okay, had you done that longer... You would have fucked it up because your nose would have would have gone down. This is reversed uh, reverse tornado spin right here. You're lucky because it didn't. Uh, how do you say that in English? It didn't compute, right? It didn't register because it, it was a, too much of a fast input. Had you kept that for longer, your brain would have farted. This is very clean, and then he does clucks to finish it up. This is okay. This is what I like to see. I wish everybody did that, really. People think they have to lock and clock and go full boost. You don't have to do any of that. That's not what I'm asking you to do. In a rings map, you should not do that. You're doing clocks. So now your next step to you, your next step is to do those clocks in between the circles, right? Just do it the same way, but in between the circles. And you're going to have to, some, at some point, you can lock and clock. Okay, so trying to get a directional input and then locking it with a clock. Then get another directional input and locking it with a clock. And your boost management is going to be the difference between you fucking it up and you successfully, su successfully doing it. But this is really good, man. You know how to directional arrow, basically. Maybe you're not ready for the ball because you're making one input. Why are you going to the right? Is that a bad reflex from before? Look at that. Ready? Boom, right. <laughs> Did you mean to do a tornado here? Oh boy. So you went down right, down left. So that's a clock. Okay. I don't know if that was necessary. I don't know if you did that on purpose. I, I think it's good that you do it because you seem to... Hmm... Okay, if I was asking you only to do exercise number two, that would have been bad. If you had absolutely no control and you couldn't do exercise number two. But here, you can do exercise number two. So I'm, I'm thinking that this little input right there is kind of the good thing because it's the beginning of uh, feedback loops uh, and how they're going to be later on. I absolutely did not. I just panicked sometimes still, and I guess that was my reaction. Okay. Good enough. Okay, you're going straight. You don't have to touch nothing. So here, instead of doing nothing, you should have done clocks. Or just right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Any kind of feedback loop. Even scribbling on your joystick the way we do when we do air dribbles. Right? Do you know what I mean? If you can do more, then you can do less. I will say that every goddamn time I do a, 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 an analysis on air roll. If you can do more, you can do less. So force, if you feel good and confident, try to do more, okay? Just don't try to go to the end of the exercise. Who gives a fuck about the level, right? It's not about the level. It's about trying to be, get better. We don't need the result here, right? We, we can see that you can air roll. In the meantime, see here you're doing nothing. You should be doing clocks, okay? Imagine if you did clocks every time you could here instead of just at the end of the level. 
the muscle memory would be so much fast f much faster implemented right and the feeling too be careful with up be careful with down left you're doing upright sometimes instead of going up is I'm I prefer people to do but be careful with down left because this is the tornadoes the reverse tornado spin way right you're lucky because it's not long enough to have any difference to have any impact but yeah hey Bambi how are you man I'm great oh up left okay be careful I'm not gonna tell you not to press like spook look does I'm not gonna tell you not to press the left part of your joystick but the left part should be used if you know what the fuck you're doing <laughs> okay but you're lucky because here it's a small input it's not a fl you know it's not continuous inputs like the reverse clock and you're not keeping it long enough for it to be serious but just be careful if you keep that long enough just a bit a bit more longer uh you're gonna go reverse like your nose is gonna go down right to be much cleaner with my directional input no you don't need to be much cleaner you're very clean already to me you're very clean already if you could actually just go up and down those are like what i just said about up left and down left those are little errors right you don't always you haven't always done that in in, in three levels what happened here up so up left okay down left okay and that's good now up good nice you did up for longer you went down there to like it was basically feedback loop you're going down left a lot right now it's not a big problem it's a problem if you if you keep your input too long okay here you went left here boom you don't you don't need to go left what did you want to do you wanted to go forward right so put your nose up so that you go right but at the same time your nose goes horizontal then cancel it by going down and you'll go straight but you'll be horizontal they're going up a bit too early oh you're panicking a lot oh boy okay let's see that again up 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 <laughs> Okay, down, coming down, relaxing, and then clocks. <laughs> okay. This is very good. Wait, is that the end? No, that's not the end. Okay, next level. Up. Up. Be careful of the speed here. Be careful of the speed here. Be careful of the speed here. Be careful of the speed. That's what I was talking about. I can see it coming, man. <laughs> A mile away, I can see it coming. If you knew how to do reverse clock, this wouldn't be an issue because you can you can slow down with half a reverse clock from you know down right up, right? By getting vertical and vertical enough so that the nose is actually pointing towards the screen, which makes you slow down. But here you're using one input per revolution. So let's see. So you're going too fast, but let's just see what happens. You go down here, okay. See here, I would have gone up for one revolution right here I would have gone up for one revolution do you know why because I would have gone towards the right which is what I want to do and if you keep the input for one revolution what's going to happen it's like your nose is going to go it's going to make a circle and at some point it's going to be a bit towards the screen as much as it can and if you boost at that moment you're going to slow down while getting vertical again okay this is what people should do when they use two inputs on the exercise number two. If you want to slow down, if you see you're getting some speed, right, make a tornado spin. And at some point, your nose, because you're making a tornado spin, is going to go on one plane, is going to go 360 degrees on one plane. At the moment, during those 360 degrees where it gets towards the screen or to the vertical, like either, either towards the screen or as much vertical as it can, this is when you want to boost and kind of uh, kind of uh, um, fixate your car vertically as much as you can. Okay, but this is this is okay. 
So now, okay, you still have horizontal speed. And be careful because you're going to have to see it's going up here. If you get too much horizontal speed while going down, you're going to have to fight gravity and horizontal speed to go up. So be careful. What are you going to do? Okay. Here you kept it too long. Like for, you kept the input here for too long. So you did a tornado spin just like I said, but it's going to make you go left. Now you go left here and you keep it. And you keep it. So instead of being here, you're here. Like you're grazing, is that the word? Grazing the, 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 the ring. And I have to slow down. So this is what I meant. That, that's good. I don't know if you did that on purpose. But when you slow down with a tornado spin, see, up la boom, there you go. The nose is towards you. You're gonna, if you boost, you're going to lose some horiz horizontal speed. Okay, no panic. Careful with the inputs. Down, up, what? Down, down, up. Okay, good. Up, down, up, up. Are you going to press up? Okay. <laughs> see, the problem, okay, and see what happens? Now your nose is too, mu too much horizontal. So you're going to have to press down and keep it enough so that it gets vertical again, which is what you do. But here you could have turn, turn, turned right by going up before, literally here. You can, you can press up right here, just one small input. But because you didn't do it here, and you did it here, you have to turn more. So you have to press the input for a bit longer. But by doing that, your nose is going to make that circle we're talking about. And at some point, you're going to get some... Because, because you have to stop turning before the revolution is neutral, the way it is not now. Your nose is going to be a bit horizontal, which it does here. Right? And now you have to slow down by keeping the... A down input for it, like maybe at least half a revolution, which is what you do. And now you've let go of it. But now you have some horizontal speed. So we're pressing up. Oh boy, you should have, and here you should have pressed up a bit more, right? And now you crash. That's too bad, man. I feel bad for you on that one. Like, if you had touched a bit, like, if you had done the input just a bit a bit longer here. So, press up. And do, like, half a revolution here. That would be perfect, right? What happened? What is that little scribble here? Boom. You didn't go up, right? So, that's a bit of, you know. Like, if you, like... In three days, this error, this mistake, you will never do again. That's the kind of dumb mistake that you're already above that. Your level is already above that mistake, right? That's my opinion. That's what I'm guessing. I think your level is already above that mistake. That mistake. But you still made it somehow. And now, you done fucked up. Okay, well, that was very good. That was super good. I'm glad some people do the clock like that. I wish you, here you could do clocks here. You should be boom, clock, boom, clock. Right, let me show you. Let me show you. You're on day four. Holy shit. This is really good. I mean, I'm always impressed even though... I should not be because I know the method works, but I'm I'm still impressed every time. Let me show you what you should do with those clocks, right? What is going on here? What was my... Oh, I'm touching the joystick with my phone. Okay. This is really good. Again, I'm going to say it again because I'm impressed. What you could do now, instead of doing those clocks at the end of the levels is to do those clocks in between. Like this. I'm going down, I'm going up, up again, up and clocking. Up, down and clocking. Clock, 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 clock. 
and clock down clock and up oh shit okay down down clock okay I can clock more I can clock more okay again clock okay I'm going to horizontal for you but boom now up clock clock down clock clock and up clock and down clock and I fucked it up it's okay clock okay <laughs> that was not enough <laughs> I did one clock and one directional input I didn't even go right like so directional input clock directional input clock directional input clock the moment you see you have the vector you can clock it now your boost is gonna make the difference between you fucking things up and you managing to do it okay I could do this whole level while just doing clocks here I, what I'm doing basically here is locking and clocking look at my joystick I almost do anything like oh, almost all I do is clocks right I do some other shit, sh other shit because it's my muscle memory kicking in, and I'm, I'm cheating a bit. But 90% is clocks, right? And it's actually so you can't see it, right? You can't see it very well. But I'm not stopping clocks. I'm just lingering a bit on one input, which is a directional one. Okay. I'm not. A, you, this will be not your next level, but the level after. Right now, what you should do is up, clock, down, clock, up, clock, down, clock, and hopefully do it better than me. Low, down. Like when you feel when you feel safe to do a clock, do one. Right, up, clock, up, clock. I'm going too horizontal. That's fine. Like when you feel safe to do a clock in between rings, do one. Just like the same way you're doing right now at the end of the levels, right? It's the same exact thing. If you don't feel safe to do them, don't do them. But your next level is going to be doing clocks in between revolutions like that. Even just one clock is good, right? Up clock, up clock, down clock, down clock, up down clock up clock up clock up down clock up clock down clock up clock okay and then when when you're better at that you're gonna be doing what I did before which is basically just do clocks right and basically locking and clocking which is just you lingering on one input See, I lingered on down here, then I did a clock. This is the next, this is not the next level, but the one after. It's the next, next level. Your next level, as I just said, is to make clocks in between rings when you feel you're safe to do so. With time and a little bit of practice, you literally just do clocks like this. Okay. You're, I'm just doing clocks here. I'm not getting, going any way faster. I'm managing my boost. Obviously, I'm not clocking all the way through. I'm not boosting all the way through a clock, right? But look at my joystick. Now, tell me how someone who tells me that air roll isn't teachable could, could, could talk about that. I'm, I'm doing the same thing, and I'm still managing to change directions, right? That's because I know what I'm doing, obviously, but it's kind of... Isn't it kind of crazy that I can still fly? Like, I'm doing literally the same combo of inputs. I'm just staying a bit more on the inputs, on the directional ones. And this is the only thing that allows me to turn. But I'm literally only doing clocks here. I'm on day four right now, and this has been insanely hateful, helpful. Nice! Well, I'm glad. I'm glad it could help. That seems so hard, but I'm down to challenge myself. Absolutely. Well, you, you will have to anyway. <laughs> I'm glad that you, you choose to do so, to challenge yourself, but you're going to have to if you want to get this right. 
any tips on what to do when you've gotten too dependent on stick to button right i lose all my control when i try to clock i don't know what to tell you man i mean muscle memory is a is a phony bitch and you're gonna have to figure that out for yourself man you're gonna get that memory off right clocking is not mandatory here right i had been doing just level one but without clocks no 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 He's ready to do clocks. He's already doing them by himself. In your learning, I want you to do clocks because it's the hardest it's the hardest feedback loops you could do, feedback loop you could do. And when you're air rolling, okay, if I'm air rolling, look at my joystick. Look at my joystick. Here I'm going to make clocks cuz I know the turn, right? But when I'm air rolling, I'm oh, oh shit, I pressed air roll right. When I'm air rolling, I'm always giving input if feedback here okay and that's what i want you to do when you're good enough and you have control over your car if you don't have to turn if you don't have to make a feedback loop you can choose not to but i want you to tr i want you to train to do some because you will need them okay someone who is good enough at feedback loops can choose not to do them but th someone who doesn't know how to do them will not know what to do when he needs them, right? So all you see me do here are feedback loops, basically. It's just I'm doing random inputs as well as directional inputs. But I'm doing random inputs just to get a feel of the car, right? Is all I'm doing. It is not necessarily a clock that I'm going to do. When I do clocks, it, like here and here... I know I'm doing clocks, right? But when I fly here, see I'm going right left here. I'm just going right left, just to get some input going, just to get some feedback. Okay. So no, you don't. If and don't do clocks if you don't master uh, exercise two, like uh, Ratus does, because Ratus knows how to air roll now. He has exercise two down. He knows that. He he has got that shit. Okay, he's got it. Okay. Got it. Appreciate you so much for the help on the video. You're welcome, man. Do you mind if I post this on YouTube? This will be interesting. Because that's another level compared to the first one I did. And you're, you're saying you're four days into the method, right? Imagine what you're going to do, like, in two weeks. Obviously, at some point, you're going to block on something, right? You're going to get hard stuck on something. Because that's what happens, especially if you're early on. Like, There's always something that we are not feeling as well as the other things, right? So, you will maybe half reverse locks are going to be... I mean, I doubt it, but maybe something is going to be harder for you to do. But for now, to me... Um, this is your, the typical, typical example of what I want people to do when they do rings map after doing my exercises. And again, Ratus he's here knows the exercise number two. He has got it down. Do not attempt this, especially don't attempt to do clocks if you don't have, or a rings map for that matter, if you don't have exercise number two down. Okay? Good. I don't know why I'm doing the rings map now. God, my face is so itchy. I think I'm having allergies. I do not mind at all. Okay, nice. Thank you. More content for Lasfeld. Four days here, so you're doing pretty smart as fuck. Some people are faster than others. That's it. It doesn't mean that they're better people or that they're more worth than you, you know. It's good for him, though. Day one, I did the exercises for like three hours straight, and st I still do them daily for 30 minutes before messing around in rings. Well, um, I thank you for your dedication. And you know what? I thank you because you allow my method to be legitimate right if every did everybody did the exercises for like three hours straight they would be like you
and because you're putting the right effort the right amount of effort and i'm guessing in the smart way um you're making my method um i'm not gonna say work is not not work is not what i'm looking for but you're making me credible and legitimate and i thank you for it thank you very much Imagine your level when you're like at 30 hours, right? Again, very recently, last week, one of my French viewers, he showed me a clip. He basically like almost air rolls like me right now. And I'm pretty good, right? And he's at 25 hours. I think you're you're kind of like him, right? You two are the, you had the same experience with the directional air roll. So thanks for training and thanks for show like thanks for trusting my method, and and you know being a living proof that it is teachable, that you don't need to spend uh, hundreds of hours learning it. And um, yeah, uh, congratulations on your tenacity, because this shit is hard to do, right? And you know what? In three months, three months, we're gonna race on this map. And you'll beat me. And I won't even be mad. I'll be fucking proud. Oh my god, I didn't see the right turn here. I was about to say something about the level, and I didn't see the turn. Well, oh my God, dude! I'm day six, but I think I've done too much rings and too little exercises. Got the time on rings down to like 12 minutes, but can't do clocks and made a lot of bad habits. Yeah, this is why I tell people not to rush, and I don't advise people to do rings map if they don't know how to do exercise number two correctly. Because you, you you want you know you want to have fun, but you don't know how to. And I mean, it's you know, one little step by little step. And um, there are some things in life that deserve to take time to be learned, and directional error is just like that. And the slower you go, the cleaner you go the best fundamentals you get if you get good fundamentals everything is going to flow from that point right like if you have good fundamentals like look at look at ratas he's doing double clocks even though it's just at the end of every level he does them not in between the level but he does double clocks and well he he, he starts from the upper input which i don't like because it's a directional input but his double clocks are clean he actually does the book. He starts up. He goes. He does two circles in one revolution, and when the next revolution is neutral, he go, he he's up. That means that he's clean on the clocks, right? The cleaner. This is like like anything in life. The cleaner you are with the fundamentals, the better you're gonna be, and the easier you're gonna work on the harder things. Okay. Thanks for making a method. I fumbled around before with all the shitty just tornado spin guys. <laughs> Got nowhere, so you deserve to be credible. Because this shit works. Thank you. I'm going to take that shit and I'm going to bring it to the bank because it's gold. Thank you for that, man. Ah, that warms my little heart. <laughs>